have you ever had reason to believe that you were in the presence of a demon? Uh, because contrary to what you were taught as a child, evil, it doesn't always appear brutal and vile. It most often enjoys wearing a magnificent, shimmering smile. It's like sunshine on winter days. Don't be fooled by the way the heat dances on the snow, because it's just as cold as ever out here. Fear has not always become instilled into a people's hearts by making their heads explode like confetti, nor does it always walk around with a giant machete. Usually, it's as undetectable as noxious gas poisoning the mind of a community behind the laughing mask of a celebrity. Now, the Roman Caesars, they knew how to control the people indirectly. They said, give them their bread and their circus and their loyalty and complacency will be purchased. Ooh. On TV, modern day gladiators fight to the death while the breath of civilization is strangled like the way the Inquisition used to mangle the indigenous by tying ropes to their hands and their feet and seeing how far they could expand. But a body can only take so much tension before heads begin to disconnect from necks and a nation can only take so much defeat before they start believing in the values of their enemies. Awesome. I mean, seriously. Who is the happiest celebrating Chris Columbus Day? Talk that shit! I will. And who is most thankful for Thanksgiving? Uh, you see, we have been trick-or-treated into celebrating genocide. It's like the way the reaping holiday was used to decide which child would be sent to the Hunger Games for slaughter. They don't want you to forget who is in control. Now can you feel that pull of a monster as they sponsor your favorite football game? Coca-Cola offers us a can of the mundane while they offer shotgun rounds in pain to any South American who would dare whisper the word union, but you see dead bodies and a million consumers, they never made a single sound, but it tasted so sweet going down that we dare not look up for fear of seeing our own humanity rocking like a baby in the arms of insanity. Now beware of their conspiracy to change your mind like chatter. You know that the devil can sing. Mm. Come on. And his laughter glows Come on. like those fake plastic stars they take to the ceilings of little children's bedrooms. His fingers are like brooms sweeping your dreams into dustpans. It's like that temptation to stick your hand into that twirling blade of a fan. Don't get too close to these ghosts, or they'll take your body as it's most and wear it now. It sounds too frightening to be real. Okay. But you can't deny that sick nausea it makes you feel knowing that our tax dollars paid for that bulldozer that ran over that ten-year-old daughter of Palestine. You see, mm. it is us. We are the ones who work the assembly lines that assemble that bullet and that gun and then we are the ones who pull it and then run fire! It is our heads that explode like truck tires on pavements while it's their pockets that swell from this vulturistic arrangement. You see, every time we bleed, they feed like vampires. But blood-soaked money can be easily dyed green just like diamonds picked from child soldiers can be cleaned to glitter and gleam. And more than seems, evil wears a hypnotic mask to hide its face, so be careful of what it is that you embrace, or you might just find yourself in an uncomfortable place. We need to learn to look carefully for what you once thought was true. It might actually be the devil smiling just for you. <laughs> So otherwise, you can continue the experience at TomRell.com. Yeah. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs>